Beer and champagne are flowing in St. Louis tonight, but in the visitors' locker room. ABC's Dave Diles reports from St. Louis. This was a series that was not supposed to go seven games, but even when it did, the odds were with Bob Gibson. After all, this was Gibson the Invincible, the man who had won seven in a row in the Autumn Classic. Already he had whipped the upstart Tigers twice, and in the early innings he erased his own strikeout record. Fanning his mound opponent, Mickey Lolich in the third. But this was Mickey's day. He beat Gibson four to one, and after the game he had this to say. I never got tired in the game. I, I was weak almost from about the third inning on. I didn't have the real good hard fastball that I do know how to throw. As you notice, most of the balls today were hit on the ground. I was throwing a sinking fastball all day. I didn't have the good hard fastball. I had a fairly good control, not as good as I usually like. But uh, I kept making the ball sink, and I got him out. Pitching with just two days rest, Lolich used more than just pitching to do the job. Twice he caught the Cardinal speed merchants napping. He picked Lou Brock off first after Brock had led off the sixth inning with a single. Same inning, Kurt Flood at bat, a single to deep shortstop. Flood beats it out, but he too is caught leaning the wrong way. Brock and Flood, they had run the Tigers ragged, and their speed and Gibson's pitching were supposed to be enough. Even after these two setbacks, Gibson still was more than matching Lolich pitch for pitch. Now it's the seventh inning. Still no score. Two outs. Gibson working on a one-hitter. Cash singles. He's at second. Willie Horton singles. He's at first. Jim Northrup, the hitter. He's the man who specializes in grand slams, but this time a triple did the trick. I hit the ball real good. I hit it hard and on a line. It was a little bit to the left center of blood, and I didn't know for sure if it'd get over his head because I know he plays deep, but uh, I knew I'd hit it good and it had a chance, and when I see it go over his head, I was the happiest person alive right then. I am right now, too. Kurt Flood did not get a good jump on the ball. It went to the wall. Cash came across. So did Horton, and Gibson was not invincible after all. Bill Freehand with just one hit up now. Doubles to left center. The Tigers now lead three to nothing. Three singles in the ninth make it four nothing, and Lolich, the man who has already defeated the defending champions twice, is just three outs away. A homer by Shannon spoiled the shutout, but Lolich got the final out. Three hand on a pop fly, and the Tigers have their first World Series championship since 1945. Only their third in 68 seasons. Lolich and the Tigers delirious. After all, they had been given up for dead. This was the greatest comeback of them all. Dave Giles, ABC News, St. Louis. And in Detroit, well, what did you expect? Detroit 